back. So today I'm going to be doing an accent challenge. Um, my good friend Kevin over at FYM Reacts, we came up with this idea when we were, well, he came up with this idea when we were having a conversation the other night. And it's exciting. So basically what the challenge entails is that you either read a play, book, poem or anything, anything that you want and you use two accents. Um, so I'm going to be reading the first page of a book called Skin Deep by Laura Jarrett. Um, I decided to do a book because I thought it would be better to just more showcase the, the accents more rather than focusing on like acting. Obviously when you're a disorder you have to like have more emotion and stuff in it but it's not me full on acting. Um, so I've chose um, the English accent and American. So I'm gonna read it first through in one accent and then read it again in the other. So I need to put my glasses on otherwise I'm not gonna be able to read this properly. Here we go. The stereo thumps out a drumbeat. Lindsay yells and reaches into the front of the car to turn the volume up. It's her favourite song. The boys in the front laugh and Rob puts his feet up on the dash. I smile like I'm having a good time. Squashed in the middle of the back seat with Lindsay dance jiggling around on my knee and Charlotte and Sarah on the, either side of me. I wish Stephen would slow down because the pitch of the car around the country lanes makes my stomach lurch. I don't think he should be driving this fast. Charlotte's giggling and rubbing Rob's head over the back of the seat. She likes him. I can tell. He rolls a joint and takes a drag, then passes it to her. She inhales it, the smoke right down. I shiver inside. Mom and Dad would go crazy if they knew I was in a car with people taking drugs. And if they saw me in Lindsay's hollow neck top and sk short skirt? Charlotte passed me the joint and I shake my head. She shrugs, her face scornful. And Lindsay grabs it and takes a few puffs before passing it on. The car careers round another corner like we're on a track right at the fun fair. So that was my American accent. So now I will do an English accent. The stereo thumps out a drum beat. Lindsay yells and reaches into the front of the car to turn the volume up. It's her favourite song. The boys in the front laugh and Rob puts his feet up on the dash. I smile like I'm having a good time, squashed in the middle of the back seat with Lindsay dance jiggling around on my knee and Charlotte and Sarah on either side of me. I wish Stephen would slow down because the pitch of the car around those country lanes makes my stomach lurch. I don't think he should be driving this fast. Charlotte's giggling and rubbing Rob's head over the back of the seat. <laughs> she likes him, I can tell. He rolls a joint and takes a drag and then passes it to her. She inhales the smoke right, right down. I shiver inside. Mum and Dad would go crazy if they knew I was in a car with people taking drugs. And if they saw me in Lindsay's halter neck top and short skirt. Charlotte passed me the joint and I shake my head. She shrugs, her face scornful. And Lindsay grabs it to take a few puffs before passing it on. The car careers round another corner like we're on a track ride at the fun fair. So there you have it. That was my American and English accent. Um, I have had some accent training briefly. Well, like we, not briefly. Yeah, we we done some accents in college and you know, I just need to, like I think like I would love to like learn more accents. So I'm definitely gonna keep practicing and learning more accents. Um, just for like a little bonus round, I thought it would be fun to attempt an Irish and Australian accent using like the typical words that people use to get those accents. This is all just a piece of fun and I hope it doesn't offend anyone if it turns out really bad. <laughs> um, so I'm literally just going to say like small sentences because that's all I can do in these accents but I thought it would be fun just to try other ones that I'm really not confident in at all um, just so you can see like the contrast. So I'll try Irish first. Top of the morning to you laddie. And now I'll do Australian. <laughs> Good day, mate. Pop a shrimp on the barbie. My Australian accent is really bad. Like, I don't even think my Irish accent is very good either, considering I can only say, like, a few words even at all. Because um, I probably can't even do those few words either. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, and I would like to nominate some people to give this a go. So I nominate Kevin, since this was his idea over at NYM Reacts. I also nominate Shannon and Teresa. But also, if you would like to do this, um, you're more than welcome to give it a try. It's really fun and I cannot wait to see everyone's um, like accents and attempts at other accents. So 
Let me know what you thought of my accent, and you know, they probably do need, need improved. Um, but that's okay, because if, it's okay to have things be a work in progress and continue to perfect them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!